If you've been in the market for a new central air conditioning system, you've been researching online and getting quotes from a few HVAC companies installing new systems. Undoubtedly, you've been hearing things like SEER and EAR ratings, and what influences the actual rating of the system that you'll buy. If you go on to AHRI directory to find out what's involved in measuring these SEER ratings, you'll find terms like wet bulb, dry bulb, static pressure, enthalpy, steady state test, and cyclic tests. But it really comes down to a few things. The outdoor condenser coil, the indoor evaporator coil, the compressor that pumps the refrigerant, and the blower motor in the furnace pushing the air across the evaporator coil. The condenser coil. Ever wonder why the outdoor condensers that we're installing today are larger than the ones 20 years ago? Heat transfer and surface area. The outdoor condenser coil can take the heat absorbed inside and get rid of it easier when the unit's surface area is larger. Next is the evaporator coil. Jeez, talk about getting larger. These evaporator coils are almost as big as the furnaces that we're installing today. Some of the larger evaporator coils are 30 inches tall or more. Again, it's all about efficiency, absorbing heat and humidity from the house and sending it outside. The compressor. Today's modern scroll compressors have minimal moving parts. There are single speed compressors, two speed, all the way up to fully modulating. The scroll compressor can move more refrigerant in a single cycle than previous versions, like the rotary and the piston compressors. And the blower motor in the furnace. Motors are more efficient when they run at lower speeds. A 3-ton air conditioner blower motor will run at one amperage, while a 5-ton bigger blower motor with its speed taps adjusted down to a 3-ton capacity will run at less amperage than the 3-ton motor. That lowers the amount of energy used by the system, increasing its SEER rating. Let's look at a SEER rating on HRI directory for a train split system where the AC condenser is located on the side of the house and the furnace is located in the garage, closet, or attic. In the example, we have the same 4TTL 6036A1 condenser and in the model number nomenclature, the first six in 6036 means 16 SEER. The 36 stands for 36,000 BTU capacity, a three-ton system. We can adjust the actual SEER rating of this 16 SEER condenser just by changing the evaporator coil and the furnace matched up with it. See here where we have the same size condenser, the 4 TTL 6036, and the same size furnace with a much larger blower capacity. But when we use a 005 evaporator coil instead of a 007 evaporator coil, we get a little bit lower sear rating because that 005 coil is a little bit smaller. And on this next screenshot of AHRI directory, we can see that we're using the same outdoor 4TTL 6036 condenser, and we use a 003 evaporator coil, a little bit smaller, and we also step down a furnace with a four ton capacity producing 150 CFMs less airflow across the coil than the five ton air handler. The outdoor unit determines the size of the system that you're buying. So normally we would just match you up with a three ton condenser, a three ton coil like the 003, and a, a 60,000 BTU three ton air handler. And in this case, you'd still end up getting a 16 sear system with only 975 CFMs of air. But our question was, the outdoor unit says up to 17 sear. So am I getting a 17 sear or not? It depends on the matchup or model numbers of the units that you actually have installed. This is something that you can really pay attention to. You can ask for the AHRI certificate from your dealer to see what the sear rating of your unit will really be if you want. When you use bigger coils and bigger furnaces with your three ton system, you'll pay more for them than you would if you just went with the three ton evaporator coil and three ton furnace, which in this case still got you a full on 16 sear system according to HRI directory. But that's not always gonna be the case when you move from two ton to three ton to four ton and five ton. 
Let's talk about how much savings that you can expect when buying a system with say a 16 sear over a 14 sear in my next blog. If you really want to nerd out, we put actual dollar amounts behind the sear ratings and compare them with the calculator that I made for my website. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air. Don't forget to subscribe and check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.